When working in Autopipe, and especially when reviewing an Autopipe model, the Show Ribbon tab can be extremely helpful. On the left side of the Show Ribbon tab, there are options to show and hide parts of your piping model by component, segment, points, or beams. So as an example, if I wanted to hide certain components in this model, for example, maybe I wanted to hide the supports, uh, I can select which types of supports I want to hide, maybe all of them here, and I can click OK. And you can see all of those supports are now hidden from the model. When I'm ready to show all my components again, from the show grouping, I can select components and everything comes back into the model. In the middle area of the show ribbon tab is a labels grouping. This can be helpful to show some information about different components or extra data in your piping model. By default, the point names, beam names, and point symbols are always on, and you can see that because it looks like the button is pushed in. I can turn on lengths of the different components of my piping model. I can turn on labels for components like valves or flanges. If I zoom in, you can see uh, what that looks like. It shows that it's weld neck and a 600 pound pressure rating, for an example. If I have additional weights or concentrated forces, I can turn that data on. I do have some additional weights in here and you can see the information about that additional weight being shown in the blue. And any other extra data can also have information turned on. One really extremely useful thing in checking your model are the color plots. There's a grouping for color plots and there's also a pull down menu for color plots for your pipe properties. So as an example, I'll do operating temperature. I can review the operating temperature and I can select the load case or temperature value I want to review. You can see we have many in here. So if I keep all selected and click OK, I can see the different temperatures for load case T1 throughout the piping model with a color coded key as well in the top left corner. And if I select operating temperature again, it will then go to load case T2 and I can keep selecting it to go to T3, T4, T5, T6, and T7, T8, T9, T10, T11, and we have 11 temperature load cases in here. So that was a great review of all of those different temperatures. A very easy way to see if something is maybe assigned the wrong temperature in your piping model. As mentioned, I can also review pipe properties with color plots. So as an example, I'll pull down the pipe properties menu and maybe I'll select nominal diameter. You can select any pipe property. Here we'll do nominal diameter. Again, on the top left, you see a key and you see the color coding throughout the piping model for all the different diameters that I have in my piping model. I can also select something like insulation thickness and turn that on and you can see I have some different thicknesses of insulation throughout my piping model. So any of these can be really useful. Again, a lot easier to see inputs that might be incorrect using a color plot. If I turn off, for example, the point names in here, it might help to clear it up a bit more, but you can very easily see if there is something uh, misassigned in here using color plots, more than if you were reviewing a black and white text report. Something might jump out at you a bit more clearly using these color plots to check your piping model. You can keep color plots on while you're modeling, loading, or analyzing if you prefer, but it's definitely a great checking tool.